How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this Ravager pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And make sure you check out the description below for a full list of building materials you will need, as well as the map cords where I built this. And also, all of the paint and decorations on this build was done by You Were a Monkey, so I'm going to leave her information linked in the description as well as a comment. Make sure you guys go check out her channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay down the foundation for our build. Now this is going to be pretty simple, we're just going to go ahead and place one stone foundation. Then on the side of that, we're going to add four thatch. And then we will add one more stone. Come over here to this side and go ahead and place seven more thatch going in this direction. And then go ahead and add one more stone. Come around to this side again and place four more thatch. And then just one more stone. And so these stone foundations are all that's going to remain. We're gonna go ahead and destroy all of the thatch and then switch those stone to block and that'll be our foundation for the build. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start laying out our pillars. So we're gonna start on these front two foundations. We'll come in here and place a wooden fence foundation on this left side and also this right side. Then we'll place a stone pillar right here on this corner. We're gonna go ahead and add another stone pillar right here. Now you do need to be careful when you go to place this, there will be two snap points, one on the fence foundation and one that's snapping with that other pillar. Just make sure you're placing it on the fence foundation. Go ahead around to this side and place one on each corner over here. And then we'll head over here to this other foundation and do the same thing over here. Now once you have these two done, we're going to go to these back two foundations over here. And we're again going to place a fence foundation on the left side and also the right side. Now on this corner, we're gonna go ahead and place four high stone pillars. You can go ahead and do that on the other three corners as well. Again, making sure that you're being careful to get the right snap point. And then once you have those four stone placed, just go ahead and add three wood on top of each of those. Now with all of those placed, go ahead and repeat this on this foundation over here. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and build up the walls on these two portions right here. So we're just going to go ahead and on all four sides of this foundation, we're going to add seven high metal walls. And it'll take us just to the top of these pillars. Now that you have that first one done, just go ahead to this other one over here and do the same thing. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up that fenced in area that we have at the bottom. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here to this inside pillar on either one of our columns, and we're going to place another stone pillar right out here in front of it. Now this will actually be snapping to the other pillar that we already have placed. Go ahead and add three more on top of that, and then add your three wood on top of that. So it should look like this. We're gonna come to the side of that and do the same thing. Then we're going to head over here to this other column and just do the exact same thing on this inside pillar. We'll place another one right here. So we should have something that looks like this now. Now the next thing we're going to do is come down here to this pillar right here and place a wooden ladder on the front of it. Go ahead and climb up on that wooden ladder and then look down and get out a wooden fence support and then jump off. Now we're going to back up and get this wooden fence support lined up perfectly straight with this pillar. And we're just going to kind of take it a little bit into the pillar just like this and place it down. 
Then we will get out another wooden fence support. And once we have it lined up with that one, we're going to rotate through the snap points until we get one that is going perfectly in line with it, just like this, so that it's now placing into that pillar. You can now go ahead and pick this one up. And what we're gonna do now is just to test this out, we're gonna go ahead and get out our stone railing and just make sure that nothing is obstructed and it is able to be placed. If it is obstructed for some reason, you might need to back that wooden fence support out a little bit and just kind of mess around with it until you get it to where the stone railing is not obstructed. Now that we have that one placed, we're gonna go ahead over here to the side and get out another fence support. And we'll just get this snap point right here going sideways now. We'll do this three more times. And then we'll get another one out right here and we'll again rotate through the snap points until we get it so that it's going back into this pillar right here. Now you can come to the outside and we're gonna go ahead and add our stone railings on now. So we're gonna start off by placing four on this one right here. We'll place four more right here on the front. We're gonna skip this middle section, add four more right here. And then we'll add four more over here on the side as well. So this will be what we have so far. So now we're gonna to go to the back side of the build and we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. Now the only difference here on the back side is we are gonna fill in that middle section with stone railings as well. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is come in here to this gap that we have on the front, and we're gonna go ahead and actually pick up or destroy these wooden fence supports. Then once we have those removed, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ladder right here on the front of this pillar. Go ahead and climb up on that ladder and get out a dinosaur gateway, and then go ahead and jump off. Now I like to switch to third person view to place this, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm basically just gonna try to line this up perfectly straight with this pillar just so that it's kind of even on each side, and then go ahead and place that down. Once I have that placed, I'm gonna go ahead and then fill it in with a dinosaur gate. Then once you have that filled in, you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy that ladder. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and start building up the floor for our pen or our tower up top. But first, before we do that, we're gonna come in here to this column and we're just gonna place seven ladders going up the front of it just to kind of give us an alternate route to get up in there. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And then once we have those ladders placed, we're gonna go ahead up top here to our column and we're gonna add a wooden ceiling here on the top of it. We'll go ahead and take a line of these across and place another one on top of this one. Then we're gonna go ahead and place another ceiling right here and continue this across three more times so that it looks like this. And we'll do that on the back side as well. Now, before we move too much further, we're gonna go ahead and add some more pillars here at the top. So we'll start off here on one of our columns on these outside two pillars, we're gonna build these up four more high with wood pillars. Then on the inside two pillars, so this one right here, we'll build those up three high. So that one, and then also this one. So just like this, go ahead and do that on the other column as well. Now that we have those one done, these four we have here on the front, we're just gonna build up two high. So add two pillars to each of these. And then go around to the back side and do that on the back four as well.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up the walls here for our top portion. So we're gonna head over here to this left side and just start off on the side and work our way around. So we're gonna start off by adding three wooden walls right here. We're gonna leave this space with the ladder open. We'll place two wooden walls and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall here. In this next spot, we'll place a wooden double door frame and then a wooden wall on top. And we'll do that in these next three spots as well. Over here on this side, again, we'll place two wooden walls and the appropriate sloped wooden wall. We'll again leave this spot open. Place three wooden walls here on the side. Place three wooden walls here on the back. Place two more wooden walls and the appropriate sloped wooden wall here. On these four back side ones, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden double door frame and then a wooden wall. Over here on the side, again, two wooden walls and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall. And then we'll finish it off with three more wooden walls right here. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and start working on the roof. So first, right here where we have these sloped wooden walls, we're just gonna fill in between them with sloped wooden roofs. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Then we're gonna to come to our top where we've built up this column and right here, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ceiling. And we'll do that on the other one as well. And then between these two wooden ceilings, we're just gonna connect them using wooden catwalks. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish off our roof. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to the side where we have one of these ceilings, and we're going to place a stone railing down right here, another one right here, and one more right here, leaving only this inside one open. We'll do that over here as well. Now that we have those stone railings placed, the next thing we're gonna do is get out a wooden fence foundation, and we're gonna go ahead and place this right here and then we'll just continue making a line of these until we reach the other side. Just like that. Now on the end of each side of this, we're going to place two high wooden pillars. And then where each fence foundation meets the other one, we'll add one more wooden pillar. So just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and snap one high wooden walls on each one of those fence foundations. Now it doesn't really matter which way these are placing, they're gonna be covered up by wooden ramps. So if they don't all place the same way, that's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ramp coming down from each of those. And do this again on the other side. Now on top of those wooden walls, we're just gonna go ahead and add stone railings. All right, next we're gonna do a few things to add some more detail to the build. So first here at the top, in front of these openings where we have our double door frames, we're gonna place down a thatch ceiling in front of each of these. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out stone railings. And what we're gonna do is we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get something that looks like this. Go ahead and place that down and then do that on the other three as well. And then you can just go ahead and destroy these thatch ceilings. Now the reason we're able to place these right here is because we're using wooden double door frames. If you were using door frames or walls or something, you wouldn't be able to place them. We'd have to do a trick to get them to work. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here on the back side. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is come in here right below where we have our ceilings and we're going to drop a stone wall down, just like this. So go ahead and do this all the way around here on the front. And then you can also go to the back side and do that all the way around here on the back as well. Now that we have those stone walls placed, we're gonna get out stone railings and come back in here. And you should be able to snap it just like this in the next space down below that wall. So go ahead around the entire build and do this as well. And once you do that, that'll give us something that looks like this. 
All right, so now for our final step here on the build, we need to get out a crossbow armed with a zipline anchor. And we're gonna come in here to where we get up to the top of our build. And you're just gonna kinda wanna aim like right above the first wall into the second wall and just shoot a zip line right there. Go ahead and back out here and we're just gonna shoot this down into our platform down here. So it's kind of best to come to the back side of it so you can kinda try to line it up straight and then just put it down like right here. Now you can go ahead and place stone railings going around this foundation. And then here on the entry side, we'll just go ahead and place a staircase. So just like that. So go ahead and repeat this over here on the other entry. All right, guys, now that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, real quickly, I want to show you just kind of the idea behind this on how this would work. So if we get on our Ravager here, we can go ahead and walk up to the zip line and then just go ahead and aim at it and jump on. And I think you have to open their inventory and kind of close it to get on the actual zip line. But then you'll see we can just scale up the zip line with our Ravager and then jump off once we're up top. And then we can go ahead and store these guys up here. So that is basically the idea for this pen. Now, like I said, this does it for the building portion. However, you are monkey is gonna come in as she always does and spruce this place up with some paint and decorations. So guys, do me a favor and stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right, guys, so like I said, you are a monkey has came in and hooked us up with an awesome paint scheme and some great decorations. Now for this build, she actually did a more in-depth video where she actually kind of walks you through and shows you what she was doing for the decorations and the paint. So after this video, guys, make sure you go check that out if you want to copy what she's done on the build. But I'm going to kind of real briefly just show you a little bit of what she's done. So first things first, obviously here on the outside, she's built us up a little bit more of an entryway surrounding it with crops and whatnot. She's got this awesome paint scheme going that was actually given to us by the people that were viewing the live stream when I built this on my live stream. And she's added some great decorations here on the outside. As we head down to the bottom here, we have our initial pen down here where you can fit some Ravagers down here on the ground. And you can fit probably about six down here, maybe a little bit more if you wanna squeeze them in there real tight. As we head up the ladder and up the zip line to get up here, we have our upstairs area with our other Ravagers up here and she's decked this area out with decorations. And we've got eight of them up here now and you could probably fit a few more if you wanted to. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some of their builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future Arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out your Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. And of course, guys, check the description below for a link to my Twitter as well as my Discord and come hang out with us there. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.